Hello darlings and welcome back here to my channel. This video is going to be once again Jerf Avenue related and as you can see from the title we are going to be judging the longevity of their items. So without further ado, let's start. Two years ago was my very first purchase from Jerf Avenue and I actually made quite a lot of videos of the first experience to see if it's worth it. However, this information was based only on their appearance, on their design, packaging, everything that I can see from the first glance. So in this video I have decided to make something similar but more in-depth and we are going to be reviewing the items that I first purchased to see have they been wearing well during the years, how is their longevity, durability, are they really an investment piece, are they worth it? So in this video you are going to be finding all that plus giving you some care instructions of how I care about my garments, specifically Jerf Avenue because I love them so much that I try to get the most out of them. So my first ever purchase from Jerf Avenue was placed on the 6th of December 2019 and it was the favorite pants in grey and the must have mini skirt again in grey. So those are gonna be the two items that we are going to be reviewing. I am wearing at the moment the mini skirts, so that's why we're gonna start with the pants. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I have been wearing this exact pair of trousers to death. I have been wearing them so often because they are the most comfortable thing ever. They are perfect for any occasion. You can dress them up and down. So I have worn them a lot for the past two years. I have definitely been wearing them more than the mini skirt just because I prefer trousers to mini skirts. The best way to show you the difference between a good quality piece and just one that's gonna last you a couple of months is by comparison. So in here I have these Zara trousers that I actually showed you in one of the videos. I thought they were amazing so I kept them and I have been wearing them a lot for the past month and a half or two. And this one is the Jerf Avenue pair of course which I have for two plus years. And the easiest way that we can check which one is going to last longer is to check the materials. Let's start with the Zara trousers. Do you see all these bubbles that have been created everywhere? That just speaks about cheap fabric, that they're not gonna last for more than a year, if even a year to be honest. That's how you know that the fabric is a bit on the cheap side and maybe my purchase was not at all worthy. I'm making it worthy by wearing them a lot but it's not, it's definitely not an investment piece that you can just hang in your closet for years and you can wear it whenever because it's just gonna wear out very very quickly. Now let's see the favorite pants. So on close up you can see that there are no bubbles, to be honest they look exactly the same way as when I first bought them. Even around the bum area there's not a single thread going out, there's not a single bubble, it looks very very well worn and I have been wearing them a lot, like I said, for the past two years. So that definitely speaks of good material, something that's going to last you way way longer. That bit over here that has a little bit of bubbles is probably the only area that it's created and most likely is my fault because I've probably sat somewhere where it just like has pulled the fabric a little bit but it's but even this is not at all noticeable it's quite all right and I'm pretty sure with these shaving machines I'll probably be able to fix it but that's the only one and it's not in the normal places where you have it like your bum area or somewhere at the front. The mini skirt and the trousers are made from the exact same material so there's no difference to the mini skirt. I have worn it way way less times than the pants so there's no point to show it up close because the pants are the ones that are going to determine if they're suitable for an investment piece and I just showed you that they are. Another common thing that happens with garments is that they lose their shape. These trousers definitely have not lost their shape. My weight has actually been fluctuating through the years and these trousers fit me the exact same way even though I have been going up and down in my weight and there's no sign of them stretching out or shrinking in, however I am really keeping good care of them. The other thing about these trousers is I always keep them hanging to be honest even though the recycled polyester it doesn't crease as badly I have made a video on that previously and they definitely don't crease so you don't really have to use the iron I don't think I have ever ever ironed them to be honest because wherever I put them they just turn out very nicely and they just they just keep their shape 
So that's definitely an investment piece and I would say that Jerf Avenue items are definitely worth it because this has been worn many 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 times for two plus years and it stays exactly the same as when I first bought it. So yeah, that's the condition that my favorite pants are at the moment after two plus years of wearing it and I'll probably make another video when it comes to five years to check how it's going on because I'm, I'm all in for investment pieces and that was definitely one and it's proven to be definitely the right choice. The second purchase that I've made from Jerf Avenue was again two items and it's the summer pants and the t-shirt that I'm wearing at the moment, it's the sunset ones. So these are gonna be the two pieces that we talk about next. The favorite pants are freshly washed to be honest and I just wanted to show you how they look like without even ironing them because they are organic cotton so they tend to crease um, quite more than the recycled polyester but that's perfectly fine and I actually like the creasiness of them during summer. I don't know, it might be just my thing. So let's check how the fabric is at the moment. Again, just like the favorite pants, there's barely any signs of wear and I have worn them to death as well, both during summer and during winter. At the back area as well, there's no bubbles or anything, they look perfectly fine, yes they are creased, but to be honest I hand wash them so that's perfectly normal, especially for organic cotton to happen. So the second thing that we check is if it's kept its shape and that's definitely again a big yes. So in comparison to the favorite pants, the summer pants have elasticated waistband just at the back. The elasticity of the elastic is perfectly fine even though I have washed it quite a lot for the past year and a half and all in all they have definitely kept their shape. And the second item from this purchase was the t-shirt that I'm wearing at the moment. It's this sunset t-shirt and I thought it's important to show you how long lasting is actually the picture on it because that actually was the one thing that I was afraid to wash and that's why I was taking a very good care of. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you how it looks at the moment after more than a year and a half. That's the design of the sunset t-shirt and I love it so much so I was very afraid that it might wear out after washes so that's why I'm restraining myself and not washing it too quickly but as you can see it's perfectly fine it looks I would say good as new how would you describe it because nothing has moved nothing has erased nothing has gone missing so I give it definitely 10 out of 10 and keep in mind this t-shirt I have worn so so many times and it's not even to go out I have worn it as a PJ I have worn it in bed for quite a few months because I just feel that's my comfort t-shirt that's my t-shirt when I feel anxious I just put it on and I don't know it's my comfort t-shirt so I wear it a lot so I believe that proves that if you take care of a garment it will definitely definitely last you and of course if the garment is made out of nice fabric and quality materials Bear with me, I have three more pieces that I wanted to show you and the next one is my very beloved Pink Breezy shirt. This one is also freshly washed so it does have a little bit of creases but it comes out very quickly if you steam it or if you iron it. However, again, there are no bubbles even though I have worn it so much during summer as well, on the beach, anywhere. It doesn't have any, any signs of wear. In terms of keeping its shape, it's definitely stayed exactly the same, it hasn't moved or anything, it hasn't shrunk, but again, I'm keeping good care of it. So that's definitely, again, one of the investment pieces that are surely gonna last you for years. And I've had it for more than a year. The next item that I wanted to show you is my forever blazer, but that goes for both my forever blazers, just I bought this one first. It definitely hasn't lost their shape, it doesn't have any, any bubbles, it doesn't have any signs of wear. So this item specifically you cannot wash at home, you have to give it to the dry cleaners and I have given it only once and once it got out of there it was just like new because I actually made it pretty dirty because I tend to wear it quite a lot and I just touched something so there was a big stain on it and it managed to come off very easily and the dry cleaners was relatively cheap as well so I am definitely happy with this purchase I am taking good care of it trying not to stain it or anything but it does look exactly as when I bought it 
And if you don't believe me, I'm just gonna zoom in to show you that there are no bubbles. Usually there are some created over here around the shoulders for some reason. And this one is perfectly fine. And the last piece that I wanted to show you today is part of my Jerf Avenue sweat set and that's the jumper. I'm showing you the jumper because they are made out of the exact same material, however this one I have been pairing with all my bottoms. I have been wearing it so much outside, at home, actually so 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 much. So that definitely is a statement of if it's worth it to buy Jerf Avenue or not. First of all, it does need a good wash because I have worn it quite a lot, so yeah. So first things first, there are no bubbles, not around the cuff area, not around the neckline, not at the back. It's definitely kept its shape, its fluffiness, it's still very, very soft, both on the inside, if you can see the inside, it hasn't gone stiff or anything because sometimes jumpers tend to go stiff and it, they become very uncomfortable. That's definitely not the case. It, it is still as cozy and nice as when I bought it and that's definitely what you want for a jumper. Very good choice with the material. Good job to Matilda, to the design team, to everybody that works in Jeff Avenue because they have actually created the dream closet that you can get and keep for years and years. This one was purchased definitely more than a year ago and I have worn it so so much. Actually in comparison to the Jerf Avenue sweatshirt I wanted to show you a bottoms that I bought from H&M and it's this pair here. I actually like them so much that I kept them. However, now you're gonna see what I mean by bubbling up and everything else. So that's the bottoms can you see? You can see those bubbles over here. That's the bottoms of it. I haven't worn them even a one-tenth of how much I have worn the sweatshirt. However, these ones are getting so, so ruined. And the other thing is, every time I put them on, the fluff on the inside, it just goes everywhere on the floor, on the inside. And this one has been washed just a couple of times because I haven't even worn it that much. And those things over here, once you try to put it on, they just go everywhere everywhere and make everything messy so that definitely speaks of not good quality material so that definitely wasn't a very good purchase so yeah I just wanted to show you the difference between good quality and bad quality pieces and how well they're going to last you so now the sum up is your Avenue worth it and that's a big yes 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 it is worth it if you want long-lasting clothes definitely get it however this video has ended up being a little bit longer than anticipated that's why i'm gonna separate it into two parts and in the next video you're gonna see how you can actually take care of your garments so they can last you longer and what's the right way to wash them and everything else also, I'm very curious and please leave in the comments if you own Jerf Avenue, how are your pieces at the moment, how long have you had them for, are they worn out already or have they kept their qualities throughout the years as well. Let me know down in the comments because actually that's very interesting to see and yes, that's going to be it for this video. Sending you many many hugs and kisses and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!